You're welcome to another What We Wish Our Parents Knew episode. Francisca, what is the issue for the week? I have always wanted to tell my mom I love and really appreciate her and thank her for the effort of me. I haven't told my mom because my mom is very strict, so to tell her is quite difficult. Wow, that sounds deep. You know, Valentine was yesterday and I mean, I'm sure a couple of people had great Valentines, you know, exchanging gifts and love messages with the people they love. Somehow we tend to look at Valentine more from a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, fiance, relationship, situation, ship, situation, (laughs) you know. But it extends beyond that. What of our children? Honestly, somehow I had thought or assumed that to say I love you to a parent or to have a parent tell a child that they love them was something that happens every day. I mean, it's so natural. You wake up in the morning, good morning, mom, good morning, dad, love you, love you, and everybody is going out, or however you say that I love you. For this child to say that her mom is very strict and she hasn't told her, it gives me the feeling that the mom probably doesn't also tell her that she loves her. And honestly, that is deep. In this world where there's so many things, letting your children know that they care about them you don't want them to be sucked into this thing you want to validate them you want to show them that you love them unconditionally you want to speak their love language there are five love languages do you know what your child's love language is is it, is it act of service is it gifts is it quality time there's five you can research it and find out what your child's love language is but please whatever you do Make sure that you tell your children individually how much you love them. Don't just love them when they're good. Don't just love them when they do the things you want them to do. Love them in spite. Because as a parent, you're called to show them unconditional love. I know that we feel the world has gone goo gaga and you know you want to be tough on them. But in the toughness, still express your love. Don't say, but they should know now. If I don't love them, will I pay school fees? (laughs) That's not what we're talking about. Still say it. There is a place for communicating and voicing out that love. There's a way for, for there's a place for telling your child, Toby, I love you. You mean the world to me. And I love XYZ about you. That way nobody can confuse them outside and tell them that you know I love you and sell a concept of love that is not unconditional. You know what? You have another chance. This weekend, take time out to find out your child's love language and to speak it. Until we come your way next week, keep reinforcing values as you parent in this digital world.